What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You're correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in the Buckley Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Um, uh, uh, sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x not What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We're still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hookshow Castle, the Boggly Woods, and a run in Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking, so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir! As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you! I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder for free. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone's doing at the castle for free. I will never, will never touch the mushroom pool again. What will become of me? For free. Hello, everyone. Neon Jugglypuff here. Jugglypuff? I, I screwed up my own name. What? No, no, no. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. No, get away from the door. Oh, it's just texting again. Uh, hello, everyone. Neon Jugglypuff here. Right, I, I said hello wrong. Hello, everyone. Neon Jugglypuff here. Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we... Saved the Boggly Tree, got the X-Knots out, and now the Jabbies and the Punies are living peace, are living in peace in the Grey Boggly Tree. And we also got our second Crystal Star, the Emerald Star. And now we're gonna take another shower. Now would you mind if I take a quick rinse? For free. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. I'm scared. I am really scared because my voice is already starting to go because I was admittedly singing earlier before doing this recording, this stupid music. If you're wondering what song I was singing, I was singing Sauce by Ice JJ Fish and, you know, High Notes. My voice is already, I don't know, my voice already screwed up. So doing the Princess Man of Voice is, is not going to help. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know about love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Excuse me, princess! Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have an order to keep civilians on you. But it is odd when you said that I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU could produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together is part of love. I know it. But then again, you are... Well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait. Wait just a minute. What? What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. 
for free. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, right, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird to dance with myself. Press the buttons as they display on, s on the screen. Yes, it's a dancing mini game with a hologram of Peach. It's weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I've always questioned why they use Peach, like a Peach hologram and not. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Instead of a Mario hologram, since Mario and Peach are obviously a, a thing. I don't know why Tech didn't use a Mario. I mean, I guess Tech doesn't know who Mario is, but then again, he's a computer. You can just Google it. Like, Google Mario, and then like, I'm sure Mario's all over the Google version of Mushroom King, or the Mushroom Kingdom equivalent of Google. Pretty sure Mario's all over all that. So, we could just Google the picture of Mario. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Wait a moment. Fun. Is this impulse? I feel the concept known as fun. Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it for free? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room and take a shower. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately after you take a shower. The data I thought was fun. You're a weird computer tech. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Now please go take a shower. Good night, Princess Peach. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for all of you guys who actually do like tech, and you like the, the Peach and tech scenes, but like, I... You know, I can't go that long without making it like some kind of shower joke with tech. I mean, he's constantly watching her. She's t she takes showers every day, you know? I'm pretty sure it's just on my head here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got the word that Princess Peach was spotted in town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Mwee <laughs> my lord, you're so super. Yes, hello. Now it's time for one of the coolest parts of the game. Look at this. Ready to roll. We're playing a 2D side-scrolling Bowser game. You press A to jump and B to breathe fire. Instead of mushrooms, you eat... I don't know if that was ham? It was some kind of meat. And this is awesome. I believe all the coins we actually collect in this thing, Mario gets to keep. And if we eat two hams, we get to grow as Giga Bowser and we get, you know, we're also invincible temporarily. And I gotta say, this is awesome. And there goes the flagpole. <laughs> They're pretty short, but this is, it, I, I like this a lot. And if you're wondering, that is where uh, Bowser and Buffett Jr.'s uh, victory theme in Smash Bros. comes from. This game, at least we think it's from. We don't know, it's, it's not exactly the same, but it sounds pretty similar, so that's why we think that it comes from this. I mean, what else would it come from? Oh, hey, welcome to Petter Petalburg, and I said the wrong thing. Yeek! I never would hide! Yeah, I said the wrong thing again. I'm Shh! Mm, what a wuss! Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Oh, my boys. Bingo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly she's overcome with joy. She's been left speechless, my lord. 
The mind of a maiden is rather complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know. Bowser? N no! My my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! P -p poster Oh my goodness me! I didn't see that coming! Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters! Poor Bowser. I feel so bad for him, you know, he's so goofy in this game. Sometimes, see, Bowser doesn't, like, he doesn't need to be, like, a big, bad, serious, evil guy. Sometimes he can just be a goofball, and that's fine. That's why I love the Paper Mario about, at least the Bowser in the first three Paper Mario games. And the, and the other ones, he's... Sticker Star, he's, he's, I don't even know what to call him. And then Color Splash, he's, he's too evil. He course, as a villain, so I know it. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. Now we can go back to our peaceful way of life. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so please come by whenever you do if you want to sit down and chat for a while. I don't know if I said that word right, but you know what? I don't care. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll, we'll wait for you. We'll do work together. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like this happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, this shouldn't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta-ta. See you, Mr. Mario. Oh, oh, I'm so sad to see Punio go. I had, a, I had such a fun time with him. But. You know, all all good things must come to an end, and wait, did I forget anything? Are there any secrets here? Looked like this would have been a place to hide the star piece or something. I guess I'm not missing anything. Don't worry, if I do, if I did miss anything, tell me in the comments, and then I'll go back and get it on camera. If not, I'll just look it up on the internet, so don't worry. I'll find everything eventually. If I miss anything, I'll just search it up on the internet, or you guys can tell me, even though I just, I literally just said that. Oh, mercy me, sounds like some mail! Aw, oh, more Peach voice! Dean Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me! But please, now I'm fine, I'm actually more worried about you, for free! The fiends who kidnapped me are searching for desperately for the crystal stars! I'll try to learn what I can about them, I'll email you again if I uncover anything, okay? I'm trying to reach that so I can, I want to do it. You must, you must know I miss you, we literally have trims about our days back at the castle. I hope we'll spend more carefree days again, there soon. Princess Manor. Isn't that precious, Mario? God, I wish that. Okay, never mind. Um. Wow, I missed the days when Peach actually cared about Mario. Now it seems like Peach takes advantage of him, and I don't like this new Peach. I like the old Peach better. Now I want to go back here because I missed a shine spray. I only noticed this during editing. No, 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 no. I realized during editing that I missed a shine sprite over here. So, uh, so, I'm gonna get it now. Perfect. Now we, you know what, let's leave and stop. Wait, I can't go, I can't go that way. Okay, let's leave. Alrighty, we are finally out of that hell hole. It's not really a hell hole, but we're out of my least favorite chapter of the game. I'm sorry for those who are fans of chapter two. I am just not a fan of chapter two. It looks pretty, but I just don't like the story of it, and I don't like I just don't like traveling around it. I don't know. It's just boring to me. I'm proud of that counter. Okay. No more battles, please. Let's blow this thing now. This thing's bothering me for so long. Now we can blow it down with Flurry. Thank you, Flurry. And we get Happy Heart P. It automatically stores HP in battle for your partner. Let's check my stats. I know I don't have enough for it, but I want to just check what I'm at. I know... Wait, hold on. What's my FP like? How much FP do I even have? 10. 20 HP, 10 FP. Okay, I'll, I'll do badges next. Ooh, I accidentally ground pounded. Or a spin jump, according to this game. Sorry, game, but, you know, it's, it's a dumb name. Anyway, let's go off to the... No, I didn't mean to squish your boobs. I meant to go to the thousand-year door. Let's soar, soar, soar away. And, I think it's in this room, isn't it? 
Yeah, this music's changing. Here we... Wait a minute. I, isn't there anything secret up here? I think I remember there being something secret. I'm gonna... Oh my god! I didn't mean to do that. I'll skip ahead and see what there is. I think there's something secret over here. Ooh. Ooh! Oh! Shine sprite! That I could have just done that to get... I don't care. I feel accomplished, all right? I could have got that way early in the game. Wait a minute. How many shine sprites do we have? Wait a minute. We can level up both of our partners now. Flurry and Goombella. Oh, that's perfect. I'm so happy now. But first, before anything, let's return the star to Thousand Door. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time. Here we go, Flurry. It's your time. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Where is it going to be? Where is it going to be? Oh, mercy me! The next Crystal Star has made an entrance! My, my, my! But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-door old ruins remained intact! I must get my hands on those healthy purple berries! And that door- I don't know what voice to give him, I had a voice idea, but I forgot. Oh wait, Professor Oak. And that's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. Tell me if you like the Professor Oak voice or the Doofenshmirtz voice. I'm gonna try Oak for now, and if you guys want the Doofenshmirtz back, tell me in the comments and I'll switch it back. But for now, I'm gonna do Oak. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars, my boy. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and bandits? If not, then what? Wait, did that say bandits? I didn't read it fast enough. I was paying attention. No, no, that's not... Hmm, oh my god. Hmm, what's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please! I'm sorry, so sorry. <laughs> I know the treasure was sealed away the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused town's demise. The town's demise. All that's written is, the darkness stole the sky, the cat asylum ri rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an, well, you know what I'm saying. Oh yes. How inappropriate! What? In any case, what about the location of the, of the star of the crystal star floating in the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing at the floating town of Glitzville. It's a stunning area where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacations to long and enjoy the fights, but. Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on bouts. A floating city, you say? So, are we supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special flim flies there and departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little, a little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess... We don't have much choice. Word on the street is, all our tickets go through Don Pianza on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's Plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under control of Don Pianza. 
the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fella. I cannot wait to meet him. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. So we learned that, uh... Yeah, our next area is called the Glitzville. That's where the Crystal Star is. And we need to take a blimp there. But the only way to get a ticket is to talk to this guy named Don Pianza, who's the leader of some kind of gang, and not like a street gang. I mean like an actual mafia, which is scary. But before I do that, I want to power up some partners. Hey, I'm not even talking to him. Hey Merlin, I was about to power up. Let's do Goombella first. She's been waiting a long time. There you go, Goombella. I shall power up this partner. Yes. There we go. Now Flurry has a whopping 25 HP. Let's check their stats. Party. Flurry has a whopping 25 HP, and she learned a new attack called Lip Lock, which takes 3 FP. Uh, can we actually check him out? No, we can't. I'll show it off in battle eventually, because, you know, a new chapter starting. Goombella has a whopping 20 HP, and she now learned a new attack called Multi Bonk. And, yeah, so Koops is actually the weak- What?! Goombella's stronger than Koops. At least for now. Really? That's kind of strange. I thought, you know, Goombas would be pretty weak, but I guess not. Now, I want to know if there's any other, um... Wait a minute, I can ground pound now. I'm pretty sure that there's secret star pieces around here. Uh, I'll speed it up or skip ahead till I find one, because I know there's got to be a star piece somewhere around here. I think. I don't know for sure. There's got to be something around here. I know there is. Oh! Yes! I knew it. Now that, so now that I have this... I have to ground pound literally everywhere because there are just secrets all over the place and who the heck are you? Hey, hey, hey! Yo, I've got all the hottest new products right here! Look no further! Let's see what this guy has. Attack FXG, double pain, d doubles the damage Mario takes. This is pretty much, if you want more of a challenge, like if you play this game all the time you know, and you want more of a challenge, equip this badge to take double damage. I don't... Why the hell would I want that? Unless you're a daredevil, but I'm not, so I don't want any of this. It's all overpriced junk. It's great, but overpriced. Now let's go to the west side of Rogue Pool. I forgot about you. You wanted a lens, right? A contact lens? Hey, what's this guy doing out here? Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Contact lens? It's right there. $10. Yeah, ten coins. Thanks, fella. Oh. Okay. We got a little, uh, you know. I want to buy one of these, too. I want to buy one of these. And uh, I think that's it. That's all I want. I just want to buy some items, because, you know. Uh, you know, I might need items later on. Hey, old lady. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Mr. Squishy, yes, I did. Oh, contact lens! Oh, sweet relief! Thank you! Finally, the world is crisp and clear again! I, I can see! I'm so happy! Heart! Heart! Be careful from now on! I want to go in her house. Because... If you've played the first Paper Mario, you see that there's a, a toad called Taste Tea, who's also yellow and has the same hairstyle as her, and she cooks... items! Oh, you get Mr. Stomps a lot! My name is ST. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. So, this person's a chef. We can, if we give her items, she can cook them into new and tasty things. I'm going to give her this honey syrup. Let's see what she can do with this honey syrup. It's successful, she made something. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm not entirely sure, but go on, take it, Stompy! Fresh juice, it heals f 
5 FP and cures poison. Okay, I guess it does something extra. You give her honey syrup, you, you, it's pretty much a trade in for 5 it. And, and instead of- oh, Instead of only doing 5 um, FP, it heals 5 FP and it cures poison. I guess it come in handy. And the fresh juice, all it does is cure poison, that's it. Or no, I mean the tasty tonic. All it does is cure poison. Now let's see what happens if we cook the tasty tonic. It did something, it's successful, okay. Goodbye. I'm never talking to you again, Zesty, we're done. Ooh! Star piece! So, I just realized that we're actually coming up on time, so I'm gonna end the episode off here. I know it wasn't... We didn't do much in the episode, all it was was Peach stuff and prologue before, like, in-between chapter stuff, but... You know, I have to save it. I don't want videos to be too long. So with that all said, I hope you guys all had a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, favorite, comment, and click that bell. Oh, yahoo! Not now, Luigi. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Super Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. See you guys later. Have a good day.